What's up? What's up, you guys? It's your girl Avis back with another video. Today I will be showing you this meal I just made. Excuse me, I'm not going to show you the tutorial, but I'm going to show you what I'm about to eat. This is spaghetti, um, well, zucchini noodles. So I'm going to say zucchini spaghetti um, with some mozzarella cheese on top. I'm going to taste it and I'm let you guys know, honest to God, how it tastes. So, like I said, number ground beef, everything is high protein, a little to no carbs. I mean, like, really no carbs at all because it's the vegetables are the noodles. Uh, the meat is high protein because vegetables, you know, has no carbs. Um, meat is high protein and the cheese is high, high protein also. So you have natural fats and healthy fats. So that's what it's looking like. I'm going to taste it. So let me taste it now. I'm a little hesitant myself because I am definitely a carb girl. Like, um, noodles. That's what it's looking like on my fork. I got some mozzarella, mozzarella on there. Come on. Well, it's so stringy. Okay, now let me taste it. What I can say is the flavor is definitely there. All the flavors are spaghetti. Mm-hmm. And also, my zucchini was, um, frozen and defrosted. So, if you mean it fresh, it may be different, but it's the crunch of the zucchini and the texture. You know, it could be used to the noodles, we'll be trying to find a replacement. But what I can say, it's very delicious. I will say that, uh, honestly, God, it tastes really good. You just have to get past, I'm on my second bite, by the way. You just got to get past the texture. Because we're kind of used to the firmness. Well, how I cook my noodles, I can kind of al dente. <clears throat> so let's have somebody taste it that not on a healthy diet. Which is my husband. He's asleep. Baby. Uh. I'm vlogging. I want you to taste this on camera. And tell the honest God truth if it tastes good or not, okay? Mm -hmm. So let's get some noodles. Get some meat. And some cheese. You love cheese. But I am. They look at me. Y'all look at me trying to rush me. Because he's tired. Not that much because he probably won't like it. Well, y'all like it. But well, fuck it. Open your mouth big, baby. I'm dropping it. It's all right. But ain't nothing to ask. Ain't nothing that you like? Mm -hmm. What is what's what part of it that you don't like? The zucchini, whatever it is. The zucchini? Is it the taste or is it the texture? The texture of it. The texture? Okay, you got that same thing I said because the, the the zucchini itself, you can't taste it. Literally, you cannot taste the zucchini flavor at all. I got to, it's just it. We say, babe, I can hear you. I got it, sorry. And it's just the the texture of it. It's not like a noodle, especially when you're used to certain textures in your mouth, like fresh spaghetti. You know, but. All the flavor is there. What, what, what do you think about the flavor? Yeah, it tastes really good. Tastes really good? Yeah. <laughs> Bless you. Okay, you guys, I'm about to eat this. And I think I'm going to meal prep this. Make it for me for like maybe twice a week. And I'm going to make some chicken and broccoli Alfredo. Just, just chicken and broccoli with some Alfredo. And, you know, different meal prep. But I will be start doing videos for you guys. Okay? Stay tuned.
What's up everybody? So today I will be making some chicken alfredo but with cauliflower instead of pasta. Now what I'll be using is my bag of cauliflower right here. I want to throw some veggies in there with it so that's why I, I mean I need veggies so why not cauliflower the vegetable but we we'll substitute this as a um, pasta. And um, I'm going to throw this in there which you could just do with simply peas or whatever but I have that I said why not I mean I have just uh, the, the veggies in the can but I don't want that I want to use what I have already here here I have the chicken breast right here I'm going to chop it up and I'm probably gonna sear it in the pan first and then add it or you can just chop it up and throw it into the pot because it's gonna cook anyway so now I make things more easier and not mess up any pot and I'm going to make my um, alfredo sauce from sour cream I mean, sorry, uh, from uh, mozzarella cheese and some cream cheese and probably a little dash of sour cream in there. Now if you want to go another option, you can buy the kind in a jar or I had this laying around as well. The Zatarain's um, Alfredo um, pasta. Just take the sauce mix out of it and you can just add it to it. But I think I want to try to make my own from scratch first. Also, I work with flavoring my water is with two bouillons, chicken bouillons right here. And the brand is Tones. This right here. Okay, so I already have my water boiling. Whoo, and it folded up my camera. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and throw my bouillon in there. Then throw my cauliflower in there so it can go ahead and start cooking down and getting kind of soft or whatever. And then I'm going to start mixing my cheese inside the pot with it. I'm trying to make a one pot meal instead of messing up all the dishes. So I'll be back once I finish doing that. Okay you guys, so the, the food is uh, cooking the cauliflower and the veggies. And you guys, also learn to come up with your own meal ideas. You can't find nothing and just wing it. You never know how it may come out. You have to learn to experiment. So while that's bubbling and cooking down, I'm going to go ahead and start to um, chop up my chicken breast. That's how they come in a package. And ladies, don't forget to what? Enjoy every moment, all right? Of your journey, of your life, or whatever it is you're doing, enjoy every moment. So I'm going to go ahead and chop this up so it can be ready by the time my uh, I drain those veggies. And we're going to go ahead and mix everything, okay? This is what the cauliflower and veggies are looking like right now. So what I'm going to do is take my knife and cut the piece of cauliflower up some, like into little smaller pieces, so it can be more of the meal, okay? Now that I've did that, we're going to add the cream cheese. And get that all melted and incorporated. Leave just a little water in there so it can help it um, melt down. It's already in there good. Then we're going to add the cheese. Well, let's add the chicken first. Get that heated up and then the cheese. So this is how I chop the chicken up into little nice small bite sizes. Throw it in there. Let's go ahead and mix it. You can go ahead and season it now if you want to, which I am going to. I'm going to add some salt, pepper, and some salt-free seasoning because it has herbs and everything inside of it that I really, really like. And let me try to open it with one hand. Okay, that one clearly isn't open. I have so many of them, you guys. When I say so many, I have so many. This is what I'll be using. And you get it from Dollar Tree, you guys. And I'll be like, oh my God, it tastes so amazing. It's all free seasoning. It has so many different herbs and spices inside of it. Amazing. Then we're going to add some accent. Make it flavorful. And I haven't added the salt yet. I can add that at the end. So, let's mix. Monday. Turn the heat back up. Remember, the chicken breast is already done. So, 
we just basically heating it up. And now we're going to add the cheese. The cheese. Let's add some cheese. Some Italian fried cheese, you guys. And this is shredded low um, moisture part skim mozzarella, provolone, parmesan, asiago, and romano cheese. Oh, yeah. So let's go ahead and add some of that. We're going to start off with a little bit first. Now we got the heat back up. We're going to turn it back down in a minute. Oh, that's starting to look so scrumptious. I'm going to add some more cheese. Then I want it to sit for a good 10 minutes before I actually eat. So all those flavors can be incorporated together and they can be ready to serve. So now I'm turning it off. I don't know if this came out to be chicken alfredo. But it's going to be chicken something. Whatever it is, it's going to be chicken something. And then I got some grated Parmesan I can add on top. Oh my God, it looks so amazing. So now I'm just going to let it cool so it can thicken with that cheese. And then we'll be back once it's done. I'll have it played for you. Okay. Here's the food. What it looks like. My lighting is acting up. Oh crap. Let's see. There we go. I topped it with a little uh, more cheese and some shredded um, uh, Parmesan. Grated, uh, grated Parmesan, I'm sorry. And that's what it looks like. And I'm going to taste it. And I did add salt. I'm going to make sure I got my picture though before I dig in it. So let's just get some from the side. Some of veggies and meat. And hopefully I grab some powder flour. Okay. I'm going to taste it. Oh yeah, that is something I will definitely make again. And remember, I just came up. This came up with this on top of my head. So I try to use what I have in the house. When I couldn't find meals that um that had the same things I kind of had in the house, that I wanted to try. So I just kind of winged it and went went with uh, and went with it. And that tastes so bomb. Found that cauliflower right there. Is that cauliflower? I think that's some cauliflower. And those veggies are went, went so perfectly with this. Oh wow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. That is good. That's really good. I'm glad I got leftovers. I'm sorry. So that's definitely my dinner. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. That is definitely something I would make on the regular. And guess what? It's very low carb. Very low carb. I mean like I can't think of any carbs. I mean corn has tiny carbs, so that is like, like a tiny carb. But as, but as a veggie is healthy. You have nothing but cauliflower. That's a veggie. With like basically zero to no calories itself. Just read the packaging on um, the back of cauliflower, and you'll see it has like zero carbs, zero freaking carbs. Chicken, nothing but high protein, you know, no carbs. Then you have the veggies, the peas, and the carrots, and the corns, and the beans. Veggies, your cheese, protein, sour cream, protein. Read your label, and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. And like, um, the cheese I just, just used, you guys can see right here, 7 grams of protein per serving. And that's per one-fourth of a cup. And if you see carbs, it's only one gram per one-fourth of a cup. 
So you barely have any kind of carbs in here. And if they are, they're the healthy kind, not the kind that like, oh, that's really, really bad. You guys, this is amazing. Try this. I promise you will not be disappointed. And the season I used was the salt-free seasoning, salt and pepper, and some of the bouillon to season the veggies. And that's it. That's it. I'm out. Oh, and one more thing, like I told you before, I'm gonna say it again. It's all about building flavor. Now, the bitch don't have the flavor, you can flavor any of the chicken broth.